It started um, October of last year and she was complaining about headaches, um, rubbing the top of her head constantly. Then it started getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It was about the beginning of April when she started developing other serious symptoms. When I couldn't see right here and I just ran straight into the wall. Then we finally took her to a pediatrician. He ordered a CAT scan and that came back abnormal and then he ordered an MRI and that's when they discovered the Chiari malformation. So Mary Ann has something called a Chiari malformation and it's a situation whereby the brain in the back of the head is being pushed through the bottom of the skull, something called the frame and magnet. You can end up with varying degrees of pressure on the brain stem with all kinds of different symptoms. Mary Emma began seeing double and the Daguerre's family became alarmed. Mrs. Daguerre's searched the internet for a doctor with expertise in Chiari malformations. She found a national conference at which Dr. Robert Keating was a featured speaker. I emailed him and I got a response within 48 hours. Well, I always excited and happy to get families that are actively involved that have been aggressive in researching the issues online through friends talking to other physicians and ultimately everybody works together and this is a team approach kids and families included. I've been able to have all of my questions answered in depth. I feel like I have a very good understanding about how the whole process is going to unfold and um, have been given, you know, the utmost respect. The neurosurgical team at Children's National brings a high level of expertise to the surgery they will perform to relieve Mary Emma's symptoms. In fact, Dr. Keating teaches other doctors and medical students how to treat this condition. Children's National Medical Center uh, deals with this routinely. And we'll see anywhere from five, six, seven kids a week with care malformations. We've been doing research on this for a number of years. Uh, we approach this with a passion and, and, and commitment that I think uh, gives us a leg up on folks that just look at this on an intimate basis. It's also something that we really would love to get to the bottom of and get some meaningful answers and so I think everybody approaches this from that uh, standpoint. One of the tools that sets Children's National apart when it comes to surgery of any kind is our focus on minimally invasive procedures and Chiari malformations is no exception. We definitely use the interoperative ultrasound, which gives us a real-time picture of how tight the brain is after we've decompressed the bone and some of the covering over that. Uh, what's uh, pertinent to uh, Chiari malformations is that we're hoping to be able to find a way of ascertaining ahead of time, have we done enough surgery? If there's a way of doing it simpler and safer and not open the covering of the brain, with the end result being a good result, then we've accomplished a lot. Today, Mary Emma can run, learn, and play like other children her age. Our experience here at Children's has just been wonderful from day one. You know, it was the silver lining in a very dark cloud. Children's National Hospital is great. Great, 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 great.